I love that Pixelmator Pro drops new point releases that aren't just bug fixes and performance enhancements, but actually include new features. Like today's release, has three new features, all of which are great on their own, but they're not just useful independently, they integrate together and they integrate with some existing Pixelmator Pro features that you might not be aware of, but you probably should be using, as well as some free Apple provided design tools that depending on what you're doing in Pixelmator could really accelerate your workflows. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll save those last two for the end of the video. Let's talk about the new Pixelmator update. So it may surprise you, but Apple was actually founded on April Fool's Day. You can go check that out on Wikipedia. And today's first tip is going to be reproducing one of the most common April Fool's Day tricks that you can keep in your back pocket for next year. So we can come up here in Safari and go export as PDF. And once you have it downloaded, you can actually switch over to Pixelmator and just open that PDF directly. Once you have that open, this is where you have your opportunity for your little April Fool's joke. So I'm going to come in here and say iPhone 15, huh? I want to change that. Now you might be thinking, oh man, where's that at in this giant group of layers that it imported? I can actually just type in the search box here at the bottom and find iPhone 15 right here. Now, before I change this, I'm pretty sure this is just a result of how the HTML was configured. I'm gonna make this centered text and then I'm gonna change this to be iPhone 16 Ultra Pro Max. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna center this text and I'm gonna change it to now free for everyone, including you. Let's make that cap, including you. And then I'm gonna edit these buttons. I'm gonna make this one say get, since it's now free. And now with the text changed, of course, since I'm in Pixelmator, I can come over here and I can find my image with my iPhone in it and I can jump over to my adjustments and my selective color and I can see here's the blues for the iPhone and maybe I want this new iPhone to come in like a cool dark purple or something like that. And voila, I can now screenshot, export or whatever and I've got my April Fool's Day post ready to go. If you end up using this, tag me on Instagram. I wanna see whatever April Fool's prank you end up coming up with or other clever uses of being able to download and edit PDFs and websites. All right, feature number two actually starts here on the templates page. If you're not seeing this, you can just go file new and this pops up the template picker. You can easily go to what's new if you want to view it that way, or you can go to all templates and they have all of their most recent templates. This grid layout that looks like a bento box is probably the most popular website design I've seen right now. I think popularized by Apple. And if we jump into it, you can see that it's catered to showing off your new product or feature as if it was an app or a part of the Apple ecosystem. And the great thing about these templates is they include things like the hardware frame. So I can press V here to move it and you can see it's actually the whole device. It's not just that top part here. And they've got everything set up to use masks. So you can just drop in your screenshot and you're ready to go. And so with these templates, rather than you taking the time to set up all of this stuff yourself, you can say, you know, my new feature. And then you can also quickly integrate with an existing feature. So if you click this, I can actually pick replace from photos. Most of you probably don't realize this, but I actually used to be an app developer and this is one of the apps that I made on the app store. So I can actually take this screenshot of the app that I made and it just plops it right here, right where I want in the middle of the device frame. The next thing I wanted to show you though is a new feature that they included to text editing. It seems to be a theme this update. So let's say we wanted to add an invisible gaming mode as part of our advertising. To make it styled and feel invisible, I could start by picking a font from the text menu and cranking up the font size and even making it match the other designs, but they have a cool new feature that you might not expect to see over here in the style menu. I can actually change this to have a stroke. Now, as soon as I enable this, you can't tell because it's the same color as the background color, but if I pick this as the stroke color 
and I come back here to my text options and I change the middle color to be invisible, we're going to start seeing what you can do with this. So let's change this to a two pixel stroke and then move the outline to the outside of the text. And I want it to be a little bit more friendly, so I'm gonna change it to have round corners and round end caps, and voila. I've got something that fits in perfectly with my new design, and it makes use of this cool new text outline feature. Now, I promised you that I would show you a feature in Pixelmator Pro you're probably not getting enough use out of. Let's take a look at that here. If I come over here to this section, you can see that this is set up as a media placeholder. And that's something that you can change by coming up here to the format and advanced. And you can change folders so that they are placeholders, i.e. you can do what I just did and swap in something from your photo library, or I can make this an alternative element group. And that makes it so you can switch between different elements. Now I could just drop in my own icon and that would take me time to draw that. But let me expose you to something that is Apple made, it's free to use, and it is super useful, especially if you're doing any type of Apple-related advertising or mock-ups. Now to get access to this, we're going to start by going over to Apple's website. And no, you don't wanna just go to apple.com, the URL is kinda of funky, just search for San Francisco font. This is Apple's font that they use all throughout their apps, and it's a nice font, it looks a bit like Helvetica, but it's free, and if you wanna match Apple's actual fonts from their mockups, it's great to have. That's not what we're getting at though. You also wanna search for SF symbols, which stands for San Francisco symbols. And this is how you get access to Apple's entire library of iconography that is included as part of the San Francisco font. So with both of those downloaded, we now have access to this. Apple's humongous library of icons. Now, of course, you wanna make sure that you read Apple's licensing rules to make sure you use these appropriately, but as you can see, there's tons of options. And for our use case, we're going to focus on gaming. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this with Command C, switch back over to Pixelmator Pro, and press Command V. Now you can see what it's done is it just plopped it in the middle of the screen as a text element. I'm gonna move this right over here. And just like any other text element, I can increase the size of it. I can pick a different color for it. And because it is part of this alternative media group, I can just check on this checkbox here or right on the canvas, I can pick which one that I want. And so with this, you have this super powerful template that you can fully customize to actually fit what your template is going to be about. And because of the integration with these Apple design tools, you can customize these templates really quickly to fit whatever type of product that you're making and cycle through the different styles really quickly. If you found that information helpful, you should consider joining me as a member on my YouTube channel. It's how you get early access to things like the Pixelmator Pro Masterclass, which just dropped a new episode and has the next episode coming up shortly. No, think about it. I'll leave you to it, and, uh, and I'll see you in the Masterclass.